I got on my Crusade soapbox earlier about it. Let's climb back up there again. Here's one of the joint practices. There's a post-play move. Mark Andrews slams Commander's cornerback Danny Johnson to the ground. I'm told he suffered a rotator cuff injury in that extracurricular hit. It just gets back to the idea that guys do this because they know there's no real consequence. The team's not going to do anything about it. The league's not paying attention. The league's position is it's a team issue. Sims and I were talking yesterday, Miles. Aaron Donald should have been suspended last year for swinging helmets the way he did to the point where one of them was flattened as it struck against a Bengals player's helmet. Thank God he had a helmet on. And what I wrote yesterday, and I firmly believe this, they're just going to continue to keep their head in the sand until somebody gets seriously injured. There was a defensive backs coach injured earlier this week for the Jets. A fan is going to get caught up in at some point. An official is going to get injured at some point. Player suffers an injury. When somebody is seriously and sufficiently injured, that's when the NFL is going to say, oh, we can't have this anymore. We didn't know this could happen. As we see it play out every year, the potential for something to happen where somebody gets seriously injured during one of these fights because the players have no downside to failing to control their emotions. Well, I, I think for the most part, joint practice fights are usually like one shove, one shove. Everybody runs up, they get separated, and then we move on to the next play. But when you have something like what Mark Andrews did there, that's unacceptable. That I mean, that's a 15-yard penalty in the game, right? So you can't do that in the game. Why are you doing that in practice? When you have something like that, or you have something like the Aaron Donald thing last year, those are the things that, to me, cross the line, right? And you can't have guys crossing the line. And I don't think that they're coached to do that. Certainly not. But there should be at some point consequences when things cross the line. But again, by and large, those things don't happen. But you need to say at some point, hey, guys, calm your calm your stuff down. Because th this cannot happen. Like, you can't body slam a player like that. And frankly, that should have started a little something. Because if I'm the commanders and I see Mark Andrews do that to my guy, I'm stepping to him like, why would you do that? You know you can't do that. Don't do things like that. I, I didn't like that at all. During a game, if that happens after the whistle, clearly after the whistle, it's a 15-yard penalty, it's an ejection, and it's maybe a suspension beyond that. I mean, they would take that seriously, and that's my point. If you're going to care about that kind of stuff when everyone's watching, why don't you care about it when everyone's watching, when everyone's taping, and it's out there on social media for people to see? It's the same kind of behavior you're trying to deter. Even if no one was watching, you're trying to deter that kind of behavior. You should do something about it. Here's another one real quickly that happened yesterday in joint practice between the Patriots and the Packers. It's just an example of just the, the goofy, random things that occur. There goes a helmet flying into the air. We don't know where that helmet's going to land. It just so happened that the official was paying attention and caught it out of the air. But once that helmet, I mean, that's Kyle Turley stuff. There goes a helmet into the air. It is a football helmet. It is a heavy, hard object. Yes, it's covered by a guardian cap. But still, if that hits somebody who's not ready for it, it's going to injure them. Yes, it is. It is. I mean, it's one of those things that you don't want to see because it can injure somebody. So, like I said, the, the things that are unacceptable need to be treated as unacceptable. And to me, that's one of those things. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.